It was a special reunion today between a Colorado Springs man and his beloved class ring. It was missing for more than two decades until this morning. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman was there for the special moment and brings us the story. How are you? shaking. It's been a minute. Hey, how are you? Got some good Hi. news. No way. <laughs> it was a sight for sore eyes. Holy cow! Stephen Goodrich yeah, lost his treasured 1987 class ring 28 years ago. How are you feeling now that that just happened? Absolutely floored. It, it it's such a bizarre thing. It, it's astronomical. You know, it, it's part of you, and it's a lot of sentimental value. It was stolen his senior year at Doherty High School. My parents actually bought it, so you know, it was it was. Like I said, money was tight back then and kind of devastating to, to actually lose it. And having Laura and Yolanda, you know, track me down, you know, with all, with all that, it just, it floors me. Laura Mendez and Yolanda Barrera Bush are the ladies responsible for finding it and doing their detective work. I think uh, Mr. Doherty be proud right now. <laughs> Mendez came across the ring in a pawn shop. Recognizing her class, she knew she had to find the rightful owner. She turned to Facebook, posted this photo, and started digging. We saw the initials, and I just grabbed my yearbook while I was on Facebook with her, and I just went down straight through the line. Small engraved initials inside the ring was the only clue, but eventually, through Facebook, Stephen's name came up. It's it's just amazing. I can't, you know, you know. Thanks Facebook. You know, finally for something good. After decades, the ring also brought these oh three back together. Oh my God! <laughs> a small class reunion. It brought us all a little close, <laughs> closer, I think. I am so thankful to those two for for finding it, and and uh, actually know that there's still good in the world. That you know, people will come up and and actually try and do this for you is is pretty amazing. In Colorado Springs, Bonnie Silkman, Cardio News Channel 13. Goodrich says, as you saw in that video, the ring doesn't quite fit anymore, but he does plan to keep it safe at home anyway.